So I've seen a lot of different people creating their own wall art pieces using simple paints and different techniques. This one is gonna be pretty cool. I've gathered up some paints that I have and I also grabbed a squeegee from Dollar Tree. So we're gonna use that for our paint dip technique. Now I also picked up a frame. You could use any frame that you have. This frame was $10 at Hobby Lobby. So just get any frame you have. And then I also have a poster board from Walmart. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the poster board down to size. I'm gonna use this little mat to trace out my shape. I grabbed a poster board from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to trace out the shape of the mat. So next I'm just gonna go in and cut out my poster board. So I want to make sure that it's going to fit in my frame and make sure I don't need to cut anymore before I continue. Okay, so the next step, I need to determine how I want to put the paint dots on here. This picture frame is cool. It can either hang like this on the wall or I could put it like this. I think that I like the idea of it going this direction. I'm going to put little tiny paint dots at the top and then we're going to try to bring it down with our squeegee. I'm a little nervous. We'll see how it goes. I have a variety of colors. I have gold, white, two greens, and a blue. So I'm just going to start by putting tiny dots at the top portion of my picture. And I'm going to repeat this just kind of mixing the different paint colors. I don't really have a plan. I'm just gonna kind of be as random as possible. Yeah, we got the for okay, that was a lot. <laughs> now that I'm doing this, like I hope that I'm putting enough paint on because I don't want it to get down to the bottom and it not have enough. So I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. Moment of truth, I have my squeegee. I think I have enough paint on here. I'm not really sure. We're trying it out. So I'm gonna start by putting my squeegee at the top and I'm just going to pull it down until I get off the paper. Ooh, okay, I'm kind of nervous, but we'll just, we'll try it out. Okay, hopefully it starts to look cool. Okay, I like that. Ooh, okay, the colors are starting to mix together. So that's kind of fun. This is how much paint I have left. All right, guys, what do you think? I think that looks pretty cool. I'm really glad that I used the gold because I think the gold helps to really make it look cool and give it some contrast. So we're gonna let this dry completely, then I'll add it back in my frame and I'll show you guys how I style it. been seeing all over everywhere are these shower curtain picture frames. It's a great way to take a big piece of fabric and repurpose it. I've made something similar in my office. I used actually a tapestry from Amazon to create a big wall art and I'll link that video for you guys down below. But since everybody's been using shower curtains, I wanted to find a shower curtain. So I went on Amazon and found this like cool pattern. And then I also picked up, this actually was a five pack. It was a really good deal. This was at Walmart. It's a five pack of 16 by 20 canvases and it was only I think around $12. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I also saw this same deal at Hobby Lobby. So if you have that and you're closer to Hobby Lobby, you could get that. We're going to cut up our shower curtain and see how this project turns out. So I made sure to cut off the area of the shower curtain where I wanted to feature the design. Next, I needed to make sure that I cut it down so it would fit over three of my canvases. So I measured it out so I'd have about two inches to wrap around the edge of the canvas and then I cut straight up. I did this for the other two as well. Next, I had to get all the creases out of the shower curtain. You could throw this in the dryer if you wanted. You could iron it. I just had my Cricut Easy Press, so I'm just gonna use that to try to get out any creases.
You could use a staple gun to attach these. I'm gonna go real simple and use my hot glue gun. I'm gonna start at the bottom because there was a line there that I wanted to make sure that I got precisely where I wanted it to. Then I'll hot glue the top. And then from there, I'm gonna tuck in the corners and hot glue the sides in place. Cut off any excess that doesn't belong. And I'll repeat these steps for the other two canvases. In my opinion, the shower curtain pictures are definitely a success. You can really customize them to your taste and what you want hanging up in your wall. And I think it's an inexpensive wall art idea. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.